Right, this is a very quick video on why you should not use uh, car automotive based silicone greases uh, in your PCP rifles uh, and why you should use specific uh, silicone greases designed for air guns in them. Now, some of you might say, well, this is rubbish, uh, you know, you're just going to get ripped off for this stuff because it's got gun written on it and it's like having something you can swap out for photography if it's got photography on it it's going to be more expensive and you can use something else that works equally as well well in this case oils ain't oils as the saying goes and now I'll tell you why so the reason why you can't uh, just use these things and think you're going to do it on the cheap compared to these because you will find that these uh, silicone greases can be more expensive than you know generic brand uh, silicone uh, lubrication greases for cars and that is because they, there are different formulations. Now this stuff here stays in a grease form, okay? So it will not, it can sit around forever and it will not break down. It will uh, stay in a gel type form. And this one here on the other hand, if you leave it sit around, some of these things, what they do, they become, just become like a, a liquid in there. And they, like they do not stay as a grease form. Now I'm just going to show you this. You see that there? That's about liquid ready to come out of that tube. Now, when this was bought not so long ago, this was in a gel form. It came out looking like a, like a gel, but that's just, it's separated in there. And you see that? That's just a liquid now. So it's really poor quality material. It's not, you know, it's okay for cars, but not for, you know, sticking in, uh, sticking on O-rings. I've also found too that despite, you know, where manufacturers will say that uh, this stuff will not damage o-rings some formulations can I made the mistake of using this on some o-rings uh, because I didn't want to buy good quality o-ring grease at the time on some diving lights it destroyed the o-rings okay so that's not entirely true it depends on what the stuff is you know so be wary of that and and what happens is you put this on something and then it starts to migrate somewhere else to where you don't want it and the, the thing about silicone grease is full stop. Silicone tends to migrate uh, anyway over time past the areas of where you apply the stuff. So if you have a specific uh, thing that you want to lubricate and you don't want it getting into other parts like on plastics, etc., uh, then I would definitely not recommend this. Also because it breaks down, it changes its viscosity. This keeps the same viscosity. Uh, yeah, so this is, and, and also it's easy to apply because you're going to go to squirt this stuff out of a tube or apply it and you find that you're coming in contact with a liquid, whereas before when you bought the stuff it might have been a gel. So that's why I do not recommend using uh, automotive type silicone greases. It says multi purpose grease. Some of these are rubbish. You know, I worked in the electron microscope industry for many years and there's, all, you know, silicone greases, of course, are forbidden kind of working with those things but I learned a lot about greases and lubricants and and the stabilities of these things and just because they cause two things are called silicone grease does not mean that they're made exactly the same uh, another tip is I keep these things in another container which is you know absolutely clean and free of silicone uh, oil on the outside of it so you don't you know this thing cannot contaminate any optics that are you know lying around if you're working on your rifle and you certainly don't want silicone oil getting on uh, the optics the lenses of your scopes absolutely not it is a real pain to remove this stuff